Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you are new. This is DR Games, you call me DR for short. In today's video I'll be showing you how to create a catfish two way facilitating finisher in NBA 2K22 current gen. Okay folks, first things first here you want to set your position to shooting guard. Pick whichever hand you prefer and whatever number you prefer and now let's get right into the pie chart that we'll be using for this video today folks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the pie chart that we'll be going with for this video today will be the mostly blue with a little bit of shooting, so the mostly finishing with a little bit of shooting right here, folks. For your physical, you want to go with the very first one, the most speed. Okay, right here on your close shot, you want to max it all the way out at a 88. Drive in, layup, max it out all the way to a 91. Drive in, dunk all the way up to an 81. Your standing dunk you want to skip and also your post hook you want to skip. Down to your mid range shot you want to put it all the way up to a 81. Three point shot all the way up to a 79. Your free throw all the way up to a 86. Get you the 16 shooting badges. Now onto your playmaking you want to put your pass accuracy all the way up to a 78. Your ball handle you want to put it all the way up to a 80. And your post control, you want to put it all the way up just until you get 15 playmaking badges at a 47. Now on to your defense. For your perimeter defense, you want to max it out at a 75. Lateral quickness, you want to max it out all the way up to a 74. Your steel, you want to put it all the way up to a 79. And your defense, you want all the way up to a 64. And the last bit, onto your block to bring you up to 7 badges at a 50 block. On this build right here, you get 15 finishing, 16 shooting, 15 playmaking, and 7 defensive badges. Okay, for your body type, pick whichever you prefer, but for now, I'll be going with the defined body type. For the height right here, I recommend going 6'5", because to be honest, you don't need that 84 ball control or those elite dribble animations. You could dribble perfectly fine without them, but if you do want them, you can go 6'4", but if you go 6'4", and make it the same way I'm making it, you'll get a two-way slashing playmaker. Okay, for my height right here, I'll be going with a 6 foot 5. The weight dropping it all the way down to 179 pounds. Any less does not add speed or acceleration, all it does is lower your strength, so this would be the best weight at 179 pounds. For your wingspan, you want to max it all the way out at an 86. This gets you contact dunks off the start, and it also increases your defense quite a bit. For the takeover, which for this build, you get slashing take, playmaker, shot creator. And lockdown defender. For this bit here, I'll be going with the slash and take. And what you get yourself here is a two way facilitating finisher with the shades of Mitch Richardson, Bradley Beal, and Zach Levine. Okay, let's get into the test portion of the build. Okay, right here, you want to max this all the way out real quick at a 99. Keep in mind that for your physical, they'll go up a total of plus 8 with a combination of Gym Rat and hitting 99 overall. If you do not know how to obtain the Gym Rat badge, there are three ways you go about getting it. Way number one, become a starter in my career and win the NBA championship. Way number two, hit level 40 in any season. And way number three, go once a week to the Gator facility and complete all your workouts, get your extra plus 4 at your physicals. One quick note, if you do plan on hitting level 40 to get on all of your builds, make sure to have the quest claimed. And also, if you ever are thinking of making more builds in the future, if you know you're right about to hit level 40, go to the My Player Builder, make as many builds as you want, claim that quest at the Gator Facility, make sure all those builds get the Gatorade. So that all those builds right there will have gem rats, so in the future if you plan on using them, you have gem rat already unlocked on them, folks. Okay, let's get into your physicals here. With the plus 8, your speed will go up to a 94. Your acceleration will also go up to a 94. Your vertical will go up to an 80. Now on to your attributes right here. They'll go up only a total of plus 4 at hitting 99 overall. So your close shot will go up to a 95. Drive and layup up to a 95. Drive and dunk up to an 88. So you will unlock the Michael Jordan dunk packages. But off the start, you have the access to the Clyde Drexler's and also contact animations. Okay, now on to your shooting stats right here. Your mid-range shot will go up to an 81. Your three-point shot will go up to 79. But now in this new season, they have just added the second three-point sleeve. So if you have both of the three-point sleeves and you add it to this build with the extra plus four from hitting 99. On this build right here, you go up to a 
81 three pointer. You like also be increased if you buy skill boost. Your free throw will go up to a 90. Your pass accuracy will go up to an 82. Your ball control will go up to an 83. Your perimeter defense will go all the way up to an 82. Ladder quickness to a 79. Your steal to an 86. And your buck to a 58. Your defensive rate will also go up to a 71. So you'll be able to help out on the boards every now and then. So on this build right here, you finish with 15 finishing, 16 shooting, 15 playmaking, and 7 defensive badges. Okay, now let's get into the badges for this build today. For your finishing badges, I recommend throwing on Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer, and Slithery Finisher as the first three. These three badges help a lot when getting contact dunks. And with your last three here, you can place them wherever you want, but for me, I'll be going with Fearless Finisher. Now on to the shooting badges. You get a total of 16 shooting badges on gold, which is pretty solid for the amount and the tier. I recommend throwing on Hot Zone Hunter and Sniper, two of the best badges in the game. Also recommend throwing on stop and pop, blinders, and with your last four here you can place them wherever you want, but for me on this build I'll be going with a gold green machine and a bronze lucky seven. You can always switch these up to fit your playstyle folks. Okay, now on to your 15 playmaking badges, but for me 15 on gold is the sweet spot for me. This gets me all the badges that I personally use, we can always switch these up to fit your playstyle. The first two badges what I go for with this hall of fame. Gold handles for days, gold quick first step, gold hyperdrive. I'll also throw on gold tight handles and gold ankle breaker. For me, ankle breaker does pop up a lot for me personally, but I know some people it doesn't pop up as much. So you can always take that off and throw it on bullet pass there, but this is how I would personally run it. You can always switch this up to fit your playstyle though. On to your defensive stats right here. You get a total of seven badges on gold, so I recommend throwing on gold clamps. Gold Intimidator, and with this last one, you throw it on Chase Down, Pickpocket, Rim Protector. But for me, I'll be going with the Chase Down Artist. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video for today on how to create the two way facilitating finisher in NBA 2K22 Current Gen. This build right here will get around a 79 three pointer. Contact dunks off the start. You also unlock the Michael Jordan dunk packages. You unlock a lot of dribble animations. You also have around the low 80s perimeter and lateral quickness. This build right here is an all around build right here. And personally with the 88 drive and dunk with the hall of fame finishing, you will get a lot of cheesy animations where the dunks will pull you straight through the defender to the basket. Okay ladies and gentlemen, if y'all enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, won't miss out on any future videos. Don't forget to smash that like button on the well folks, can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Goodbye, y'all.